Okay. Good. Uh, hello, Lilian. Uh, uh, welcome to our uh, Temporis uh, interviews. You, you must be a completely new uh, startup in the business uh, and it's very, very impressive. Tell me how everything started with Awake. Ah, uh, it started two years ago. Um, I've been working for the watch industry uh, in the past, so I was quite, uh, I had quite a, um, a good understanding of the market. And I, I, I knew that there was something that was missing to this industry uh, because I, I, I've never seen any uh, sustainable approach. And, um, you know, it was, uh, I was about to be 40 years old and I wanted to, uh, to, to spend the rest of my professional life in something more meaningful because this is my values. My parents have educated me in this way. So, um, and so I started two years ago on a crowdfunding platform, which is a Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. uh, with my associate, we were two at the time, uh, and we uh, we 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 set up a goal at thirty thousand dollars for a month, which is twice the the average amount raised on uh, Kickstarter for this kind of product. And uh, what happened is that we reached this goal in one hour, and uh, we finished uh, one month later with more than three thousand three hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, as pre-orders for the Kickstarter campaign. So uh, we were quite surprised, but it was a good proof of concept that people were expecting more meaningful products, even in this kind of industry. So, so we finished in, in August and uh, we delivered the watch before Christmas, it was in 2018. And uh, two months after that, we were contacted by the French government Mm -hmm. uh, who said we are organizing the, the G7 summit in Biarritz uh, this summer, so August 2019. And uh, we'd like to offer the presidents and the delegations a very meaningful present that is connected to the oceans. And we are trying to push a message uh, among the presidents saying that uh, we have to take care of, of the ocean. There is too much pollution. There is a problem with biodiversity. So we'd like you to create this, this present. So it, it was quite, uh, quite surprising because we were like a few months uh, existing. And uh, the, this is how we, uh, we worked on a new, very new project because they said that our first product, which was a, a steel watch with a solar movement and with a strap made from re recycled plastic bottles, uh, was good, but they wanted to do something even better than that. So it was kind of tough challenge at, at the time because we were quite happy with the first product we've made and someone was asking to us to make a new product. But at the end of the day, it was uh, very challenging first. And uh, I think uh, it gave us the, the envy to develop the brand with innovation. So this is how we made the first watch in the world made from recycled fishing nets. The fishing net is 10% of the global plastic pollution and it, it's a threat. You know, there is a many, there is 100,000 animals that dies every, way, every year, sorry, um, uh, with, the, with the fishing nets um, which are uh, existing in the sea. So it was a very, uh, it was a very inspiring example of how, how you use a threat and you transform in transform it into a sustainable resource. So we, it was a very tough because 15 days before the, the start of the G7 summit, we are not sure to, to be able to deliver the watch on time. But fortunately, everything goes, went well and we were able to, 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 um, to give the watch. And what's, what not expected is that because it was, not, it was just giving the watch. What we, didn't, we couldn't imagine that the French president show the product to all the other leaders and say that this is a, an example of what France wants to do in terms of sustainable manufacturing. So in front of hundreds and of millions of, uh, of, uh, of uh, people, uh, I mean, on, on the TV. So it was uh, uh, quite amazing. And right after that, we got so many, so, so many requests to have this watch. It was not only the, 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 the watch, uh, uh, the, the, very meaningful watch. It was also the watch of the president. And um, so, so 
so it was a it was a really crazy experience as you may imagine and uh, and from this moment uh, we knew that we wanted to develop the research and develop research and development uh, area because uh, there are so many new things to create um, mm -hmm. because when you know we are a, a quite affordable brand our watch are between something like 200 euros to 280 euros. But the thing is, there is no innovation at all in this price range. So the good thing is that we were able to bring a new, new kind of materials in an industry where nothing happened, nothing different happened. And uh, yeah. the, the, the thing is that I, I've just seen that another luxury brand is doing the same, Ulis Nardin. Ulis Nardin, I know, I, I bet you, you know this brand, they just announced a watch made from recycled fishing nets. So it's, 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 it's quite crazy that all a small brand like us can inspire very old brands and luxury brands to develop the, the same uh, approach to their product. So uh, this is the kind of competition we like because we know that the more people will do the kind of, uh, of uh, smart uh, manufacturing, the more it will have uh, an impact. And we are only talking about the impact. I don't want to disappoint you, but there is another brand uh, from Netherlands who is uh, more or less in the same time with yours, uh, using the fishing nets for the case of the watch. Which one? Uh, I, I let you to discover yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, maybe maybe there is another brand. When did they re release the 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 the, the uh... in this uh, in this uh, spring? They uh, okay. and also by the way they used also Kickstarter. Okay, okay. So and the first the, the first watches are uh, are already ready to to sell like yourself, but they are different in terms of uh, design. It's looking more much more like a diver. I noticed that you 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 put uh, more la a classic kind of design uh, in your watches. Yeah, for the moment, for the moment it's true. I think that the latest collection is quite different. You know, the 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 the, the new one is made with very uh, uh, colorful straps. I think it adds something very um, very new to the brand. We we used to be quite classical. It's absolutely true, but we are not trying to. Uh, to give more, uh, a bit more fun to our products, because I think that's uh, uh, it's important to 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 um, uh, to make your products very appealing, and I think it's important to make your products being able to be recognized on the wrist. So we are trying to uh, uh, evolve the design to make things different from what we've done in the past. Tell me uh, why you. Uh, so, first question is that the watch you you gave it to the uh, President Macron and the other participants. Yeah. Did you make this watch only for a show off, or it's exactly one of the watches you are starting to sell? We, we've we've developed the watch for the G7 summit. Mm -hmm. So so a bit more than one year ago. But the thing is, we 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 have no um, uh, we have no idea about what. What will be the 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 the, the, the uh, what will happen after? Mm -hmm. But the fact that so many people ask for the for the watch make us uh, we so we decided finally to develop for uh, for everybody for, to 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 sell the watch to everybody because we had so much demand on this one. Mm -hmm. But first of all, it was just a project, you know. The 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 the, the French government they paid us. To, for this project, they bought the watch, and uh, basically we, we, we didn't even think about the following uh, until the, 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 um, what happened with President Macron happens. Okay. Uh, why did you choose nowadays to use uh, castor beans instead of recycled uh, pets? Um, I think that the 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 the, the castor bean is a um, it's 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 a it's a biopolymer. So the thing is that uh, it will last longer than any uh, because the first strap we had were kind of tissue, you know. Uh, it was a, a yarn, and the yarn is not as resistant as a polymer. So mm -hmm. when we when we think about um, uh, sustainability, 
the most important thing is that the product lasts the long, lasts a long time, like, like a very long time. For example, the, the, uh, we use the solar movement for all our watch. We, we, we don't have any basic quartz movement. All, all our watch are solar. And the movement uh, will last something like 20 years. So it's quite a lot for a watch which is uh, in this price range. You, so, you mean the battery inside yeah. will last for 20 years warranty? Exactly. exactly. Okay. So, uh, and this is the same. Uh, I think that there are two things. It's, first thing is the, is the, the design of the, of the strap. We have much more, uh, it's much more easier to create different straps. And I, I don't know if you've seen the, the last strap we've made for the D1 collection, but it's very, very cool. It's a scratch. It's, um, it's very comfortable. Uh, you know, that for us, the castor bean was the, the, the most interesting product. And uh, this is the way also to, uh, to show people that we can create like uh, polymers without fossil fuels. Because one of our main interests is, is to escape from fossil fuels. So this is a nice example of what we can do with that. And how you manufacture the, the, the bracelets from these castor beans without uh, using I mean, fossil fuels? Of course, you use, you use, you use energy to make it, but okay. there is no fossil fuels inside. You know, it's not, it's ah. not a plastic strap. Ah, okay, course, okay. You know, for the energy, I mean, it's, it's, um, we can, we cannot solve the, the energy problem right now. We can, we try to, to, we try, we don't try, we avoid uh, fossil fuels in the, in the, as a material. But of course, we still need energy to create the products, any kind of products. What about the solar, uh, solar uh, mechanism? I understand is, is from Japan. Do you reveal yeah. which company is providing? Yeah, Seiko. It's Seiko. Yeah, exactly. There are not that many uh, uh, manufacturers for solar movements. I so, agree. What, so, what is the, the, the performance of this? Uh, in how many minutes in uh, direct solar uh, light you can recharge fully the battery? Three hours. In three hours. In three the hours you have, depending on the movement, between four months and six months battery life. So mm -hmm. it's, it's quite a lot. So basically, if you wear it every day, you watch, it will never stop. You don't need electricity. You don't need to... Uh, to wind it, you don't need to change the battery because it's, it's not a battery, uh, but the power reserve is very, very, very long. So uh, it's, uh, and plus, you know, it's, uh, it, it takes the, 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 the energy from the light. Light is everywhere, light is free, light is uh, uh, limited. So uh, it was the most, uh, uh, it was obvious uh, in terms of sustainability to use something that does not create any waste. Like for a battery, battery you change the battery, uh, the quartz movement you change the battery uh, every two years, for example. So uh, we tried it to avoid any kind of waste. Uh, by the way, do you, do you imagine, based on this kind of solar energy, to make a smartwatch? Do you think it's suitable? Um, the problem is that we are not really uh, into smartwatches because the problem is obsolescence. You know, we try to push a message to, uh, to have a better and more sustainable uh, uh, consumption. Uh, so saying that it's difficult to say that the product that your client is gonna buy will last two years because, no, because the, tele the technology uh, will be obsolete after two years, for example. For example, you see uh, Apple, they sell a, a new watch every year, saying that your old watch is, uh, doesn't have any more interest. The new one is crazy, is, uh, is blah, blah, blah. So we, we, we are not into this kind of, uh, of, uh, of marketing. So we are not, we are not thinking about the, the, um, the smartwatch uh, product uh, itself. I think we, Awake is more a concept than a watch brand. So if we have to develop new things, it will be in a different industry. The, the, our knowledge is about the materials or uh, the, 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 we master and we transform the material because the last collection we made is not just fishing nets. So it's not like the other, what the other companies are creating. We've made some modifications to the, to the material so we can give it new colors, new shape, new, uh, uh, new texture. Uh, so 
this is what we this is what we do basically we we our our purpose is to create the material of the future and this is not just about recycling we are trying to work on biofabrication uh it's not just biomaterials it's taking inspiration from the nature to create natural materials that doesn't require any any water any uh, uh without any carbon footprint so it's basically ground lab materials this is the future uh, before we go to this uh, future uh, i have just one question about the watch yeah what do you imagine uh, as a development of the watch what kind of uh, so called complications you may introduce in the in the watch i we we, are, we have two main projects at the moment uh, developing a, a chronograph yes and yeah uh, in terms of complication and will uh, uh, next uh, spring will um, will unveil a sport watch uh -huh. which is a chronograph or a different one no the chronograph will be in uh, all the collections Okay. But so we develop a chronograph uh, for the D1 collection and the D02 collection, and we're going to launch the D02 collection in spring. And the new collection will be, as you said, a sport watch with a different yeah. case. Exactly. Different case, different uh, look, uh, very different uh, and like very, very resistant. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of watch you can use everywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. One last question is regarding the future of the brand, because you mentioned uh, uh, you will not stick only to the watches, you, you imagine much more. Can you reveal a little bit what does it mean? What kind of products are you imagining? Uh, um, it's, it's a bit confidential at the moment. I mean, this is, we, we, are, um, we are going to develop uh, products where, uh, the approach we have in the watch industry does not exist. So there are many industries like that, but right now we, we keep it secret. Okay. And when you will have the first release to come back for an interview? <laughs> <laughs> next, next spring. Good. So thank you very much for, uh, for this interview. It was, uh, was a real pleasure. Okay. Thank you, Dan, for your time. And uh, see you soon, I hope.